Hello, another video about Arduino Basics. This time a quick tutorial on how to control basic 7 digit display. Enjoy and check my upcoming videos where I would move to more complex ways to drive these displays. In this video we are going to work with common anode display. A display like this is actually 8 different LEDs, 7 digits and 1 dot. Each LED has two connection pins, anode plus and cathode minus. In common anode display, anodes of LEDs are connected together and we can access them via two common pins. LED cathodes are connected to the other 8 pins of the display. Each LED segment is lit when we ground the corresponding pin, meaning send low signal to it. Let's see how it works. Let's connect common pin to Arduino 5 volts via the 220 ohm resistor. Power on Arduino. Connect jumper wire to ground of Arduino. Now we can connect the other end of the jumper wire to 8 data pins. This way we should be able to lit all segments one at a time. And this is exactly what we did. Now that we know all segments are working, we can define a array that will store information on which LEDs segments should be lit to display each digit. This table has 10 rows, one for each digit, and 7 columns, one for each segment. Here are individual rows of that table. Here are schematics. Individual segments are connected via 220 ohm current limiting resistor. At the end, we connect the display common pin to Arduino 5V. The code is very simple. Again, let's have a look at the table with digit definitions. When we read value 1 from a particular segment, this means that we want to lit it, and to do it, we have to send low signal to it. When we read 0, the segment is to be off, so we send high signal to that segment. We have a custom function to display a digit. We pass a desired digit to it, and it finds in the table the right row, and extracts segment values, and sends the right signal to each segment. In main loop, we have a for loop that executes these functions for values 0 to 9. And that is basically it. Let's power on Arduino and send the sketch to the board. We are displaying the sequence of digits from 0 to 9. All segments were displayed as defined in digits table. To drive this display we need 7 data pins of the Arduino. So no issue if we have just one display, we can drive it with most popular Arduino boards, Nano, Uno and Mega. But if we want to use two of them, then we barely can fit it on Arduino Uno and Nano. With three displays, we are exhausting number of pins on Uno and Nano, and only Arduino Mega can handle it. There are methods of driving these displays with less pins, and that is what my next video is going to be about. So if you don't want to miss it, Subscribe to my channel and ring this bell to get notified. Stay healthy and I hope to see you again in a couple of days.